This Fast Thought is sponsored by the Canadian Health Food Association. CHFA are growing a community that empowers growth and is shaping the future of the health food industry. They are inspired by the belief that when we all do well, Canadians live well. Hey guys, we've, we've got a um, we've got um, our last one of the day, but not our least. So we've got Malin Shaw on, and he is um, with Fruit Tree, uh, FruitTree.com, and um, he's got he's got a pretty cool product uh, that's going to be at Launchpad. He's a Launchpad finalist. It's called uh, I I guess you're are you launching the banana? Actually, you know what? Here's what Let's we'll get do. Let's get him do it. <laughs> yeah, this is Malin. He's going to be at Launchpad. You better make sure that you come and see his pitch. And then um, he's actually going to be at booth 2311 as well, correct? Yeah. So so that's about all the smart information I have. So I'm going to shut up and let Malin talk for a second so he can tell us about the product and then uh, and a little bit about him too. So welcome. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Phil. And thanks, Kenny, for inviting me again. I'm very excited to be part of this uh this podcast and i'm very excited to be part of the launch pad as well so again my name is Malin. i launched my product like around one and a half month ago uh, oh you're new new wow okay new, new. very new so okay. the product is actually launched in india it is made in india we're manufacturing in india it is there yeah. since last two and a half years but in canada it's just one and a half month only okay uh, and what we have is called vacuum cooked chips so they are not deep fried, they are not air fried, they are not freeze dried, but the new technology called vacuum cooking. So we cook in a vacuum chamber and they're actually chips and made from real fruits and real vegetables. Uh, I have a couple of packets with me, but it looks like this one. So I have okra and I have multiple eight different, eight different flavors. Like, so if you are looking for like uh, zesty, something spicy, then I have like okra to uh, spicy sweet potato. And if for sweeter side, I have jackfruit, banana, I have carrot, multiple different, eight different flavors I have. So wow. help me on this. So, I mean, I get baked, I get fried. Um, I know what I, I've, I've seen, I know what freeze dried. What, so, and I know the textures of each of those, right? So if I'm eating um, a freeze dried um, a fruit, like a strawberry or, or whatever, okra, I, I know what it's gonna be like. And I know what it's gonna be like if it's fried or baked. Like, what does a vacuum do to it? Like, oh, I don't understand what? the process. Like, how, what, what does mm -hmm. it do? Yeah. It's a very similar process. There are multiple steps in a vacuum, uh, vacuum frying process. So it's a very typical, like, a uh, frying process as well. But, like, compared to, like, deep frying process, we go in, in a vacuum chamber. So what we have is we slice and dice the potato. We make sure, make sure that it's salted. What are the flavor we want to give it? We just do all that marination and everything right. in a vacuum chamber. Now with the vacuum chamber, what happens, the British pressure is reduced. And because of the low pressure, what happens that boiling temperature of the water in any fruits and vegetable also goes down. So now because of the lower temperature, we can cook the, we can fry a very lower temperature. It starts with the heating process, but now the heat requirement is very, very low because of the lower boiling temperature. So now we, we use less oil, less heat, and now it's frying in that one. Uh, in hands, what happens because of the vacuum chamber, uh, another good thing happened because of the vacuum chamber, the moisture that created out of because of the heating evenly distributed, which gives him a very unique texture and, uh, and color. So when you deep fry, when you like you, you, you have uh, talked about air fried and everything like if you right. done, so you see that like it shrinks, it reads the shape. When you do freeze drying, it becomes a little bit porous. This right. one gives its crispiness. So very, very crisp. Thank and it does not reduce the shape. So let me just show you one thing. Let me just say if I open an okra, that's my okra chip. If I open up that one, the entire okra chip will look like that as a chip. That you can eat directly and it is crispy. So when you eat it, it it crisp. Oh cool. Because usually when, when you eat okra, it's very sludgy, very slight. It's right? like slimy. Yeah. That yeah. one. That one is this one is gives a unique crisp crispiness. So that's so, a little bit different. So in terms of uh, like in terms of like if you're deep frying, we we, we all three of us know for deep frying, maybe we use this much oil, yep. right? You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of oil. So like it, proportionately, is this like um like an air fryer amount more or less 
Not that it really matters. I'm still trying to understand this process because yeah, yeah. I'm not quite it is, getting it. It is, it is very similar to uh, Frank. Like you can say that like oil, uh, oil, oil, can oil usage perspective, like very less amount of oil. Okay. And then every single product I have is not more than three to four grams of fat. Wow. Okay. okay. So it's wow. just really, it's almost like a dusting of oil, probably just to give it that little the texture. In it. texture. Exactly. Huh. Exactly. Interesting. Wow. I've yeah. never heard of this process. I mean, maybe it's popular. I, I've, I've never it's, heard of that. It's kind of like new I have search in Canada. Like uh, we don't have vacuum fried chips. We have vacuum cooked vegetables and sometimes other things are there, but chips are not there. Interesting. Yeah. That's right. yeah. That's it. And is it popular uh, in uh, the old country in India? Like is it? Uh, it is getting getting popular. More popular. More popular nowadays because again, as people are moving more towards like a healthy alternative right. to all other things, right? Uh, it's it's taking its momentum. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, very interesting. So okay. and, and I guess what you're hoping to do is, is replace a potato chip sort of thing. I'm not saying replace it, but if we <laughs> yeah, that would be the dream, right? So is this heavily, um, pretty, it sounds like it's pretty clean ingredient. So yes. Um, price point. Uh, price point is very cheap as well. Like, like the 50 grams of pack is cost you cost is an retail would be like around $5. So four ninety nine ish, okay. Four ninety nine ish, and like say, if you talk about that one, like an okra, you can you're talking about almost twenty five to thirty okra pieces in inside as in well. In each bag. In each bag. And, and like five dollars kind of thing. Wow. Exactly. Okay. I mean, like, this really is, I mean at least you're eating, you're eating for a little bit. Like it feels yeah. like you're getting. Okay. Exactly. Like similarly, let's say if a jackfruit, I have a jackfruit, like jackfruit chips, like jackfruit is not widely available in Canada. It's available in some of the ethnic stores as well. And yeah. it's mainly available in uh, the Asian country. Like one of my best products, a jackfruit, if you prefer something sweetness, it's only one gram of fat in a bag. Uh, so in 20 grams, so it's like only 2.5 <laughs> grams of bag, fat in a bag, which is like makes it very healthy. But like, it's all in that hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's very cool. So yeah. that's what, that's what the chips is like, and that's how actually I found it in India. I had a talk with the with the owner. I did some research on that one, and then I said, like, I need to bring it to Canada. Good for you. Okay. okay. Good for you. So and a month and a half out. So are you? Um, you're based where? You're based in Toronto, or are you based? I'm in based in Toronto. Yes. So Toronto. like you two are in Toronto. I'm in Vancouver. Yeah. Like if if Phil was going out this afternoon, could he find the product in stores right now in the GTA area or? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But it will be available by end of September in some of the Indian ethnic stores where I have some channel. I'm already in discussion with yeah. some of the healthy health stores as well. Okay. Uh, so we are working our way through, and that's uh, another idea. I'm the very new member in uh, Canadian Health and Food Association as well. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get some networking connections and everything as well. So take this, uh, take the flight. Sounds good. Well, you got two yeah. networks now. You got him and yeah. I. So there you go. You got you got the two of us, and then uh, people that watch this, you know, um, yeah, will be at the show. He'll be pitching launch well, pad again? on Friday night, and yeah. then uh, booth twenty three eleven. 2311. 2311. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely come by. Um, we're, we're, I'm interested. We like, we like eating. We, we, we love we like, food. Yeah, you go. Yeah. Snack food. Yeah. Like, we totally yeah. love snack food. And your calorie count sounds really low. The, you know, the fat counts yeah, low. Great. Yeah, yeah sounds better. good, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you for doing this. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on. No, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, good luck at the show. And then we'll, we'll painless, see right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you Friday night at the judging, and then we'll see you Saturday at the, in the trade show. Absolutely, yes. I'm looking forward to that. Sounds awesome. good. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Melinda. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate your okay. time. Bye. Take care, man. Bye.